this video, I will be explaining my evaluation of the debate I had with Sean. The question was, which worldview would create a more productive and moral society? This was a problem-solving activity. I proposed a secular atheist worldview where I explained my mechanism to govern a society which enables everyone's human rights, where they would be free from oppressors, acting as one of the main cogs in the mechanism. This would facilitate everyone to be able to contribute their interests and values through, the, through a public sphere and come to a consensus where they can propose principles and laws to promote their values. For example, by having the right to live, the individual or group of people will be able to get work and cooperate to provide services for one another. If they were killed or ostracized because of their beliefs, there would be nothing gained from their existence to benefit the society they belong to. With the study of morality and ethics, we are able to test, observe, analyze, repeat, and compare certain choices, so we can effectively weigh up the best decision to benefit the society as a whole. By making decisions which acknowledges everyone's interests and values, we can progress and prosper together. My proposed mechanism demonstrated how if a society effectively cooperated together, it would encourage goodness and decency. With more people willing to do this, the more productive the society will be. My proposed mechanism ticks both moral and productive in the question and resolves the problem. I gave an example of a multicultural society such as the United Kingdom as an example of its success. My mechanism of consensual cooperation can be tested in the game called The Prisoner's Dilemma. If you are unaware of this game, the rules are where the two players have one of two options to play in each round. Cooperate or defect. If the two players were to both choose cooperate, they would each have three points with the best total outcome. However, if one of them were to choose defect and the other player to choose cooperate, the player who opted for defect would win four points, whereas the other player would only win one point. If they were to both choose defect, they would both only get two points. My mechanism proposed the two players to cooperate together so they could both win to get the best total outcome. This is the best strategy for a long-term relationship in a society. As I explained to Sean consistently throughout the debate, yet he ignored it. That was the goal for each side, to create a more moral and productive society. He clearly missed that part. The Christian model, as I pointed out to Sean, would only have the, the people who support the Christian faith win playing the option of defect. If the other player were to play cooperate, only Christianity would win. However, this is only temporary, because if the player were to hold a grudge, the two sides would both play defect and only get two points each. This game demonstrates the relationship each individual or group needs to have with others in a society. In order to build a successful society, you need everyone to cooperate, otherwise it is doomed to fail. During the debate, I was disappointed to hear how Sean did not explain clearly enough what his mechanism could do to create a more productive and moral society. He kept making premises which he could not prove, making them assertions and redundant to his argument. He suggested moral absolutes came from an external source which again he could not prove. He explained how it had been revealed to him by God and was giving references to the Bible, which he again could not prove as a fact. His argument fell like a castle of cards when he was asked to prove his premises with any relevant evidence. So, in summary, my proposed mechanism explains how by promoting everyone's equality could create a more productive and moral society, whereas Sean's mechanism depends on his god revealing information to him and other selected people, which he can't explain how or why, and accomplish nothing. And judging by Sean's review of his own performance, he had proven the pigeon hypothesis yet again. If he proposed his mechanism into British Parliament, the members would all hit their heads on their tables and cringe in disbelief as a response to Sean's stupidity. If he was on The Apprentice, Lord Alan Sugar would say, You're fired. If he was on The X Factor, Simon Cowell would say, Sorry, it was absolutely excruciating. Right. <laughs> From start, middle and finish. I think it's lucky we didn't charge the audience to come in tonight because they'd ask for a refund. If he was on the Dragon's Den, they would say... Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why would anybody want this? Judging by the results from The Prisoner's Dilemma, 
I think we can conclude the Christian model to be ineffective by comparison to the mechanism I proposed.